What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're to focus on the uh, Terry O'Reilly-like rise of uh, Mitch Callahan, Detroit Red Wings prospect who played the other night for the Wings uh, against the Columbus Blue Jackets. I'm not comparing with Terry O'Reilly, but when you look at the way they, you know, were both kind of not exactly the best hockey players. You know, they had a role to fill. You know, they were the, the legitimate tough guys. And uh, the way O'Reilly, you know, refined his game became, you know, bona fide 20 goal scorer in the National Hockey League and the captain of the Boston Bruins. Uh, you know, you've seen a similar trajectory with Callahan. You know, the California native that walked on with the Kelowna Rockets back in 08. Has, you know, you're looking at he got better every year. He was in junior hockey. He made a U.S. World Junior Team. And then you're looking at his numbers in the AHL. His first year when he was in the AHL, I think I actually did a prospect profile on him, was, you know, two years ago. Uh, nine points in 48 games last year, 20 points in 71 games, and then um, you know added 11 points in 24 playoff games as they won the the um, the Calder Cup. This year he's played a game in the show. He has 40 points in 67 games. He's plus 20, uh, and he's lowered his penalty minutes. He's not like your prototypical Detroit Red Wing. Actually, I take that back. When they were at their best in the 90s and 2000s, they had the Darren McCarty's, the Drapers, the Maupies of the world, the grind lines. He's one of those guys. And, um, you know, you're looking at his ascent to the top of, you know, the Detroit Red Wings organization rankings. Um, I was making the show the other night. Is he, um, he's got it. I think he's going to be a long-time NHL player. I said that two years ago when he was putting up, you know, single-digit points in the AHL. I like his game. I think he has a... Um, some things just to some things to th to soothe out as I sound like an idiot, but I think he can get there. I think the work ethic's there. I think the hockey sense has improved. The speed is there. The toughness is there, and um, you know I can see him being the a fixture on Detroit's third and fourth line for years to come, which a lot of people wouldn't have, wouldn't have said a while ago. And he was a sixth round pick by the Wings. Kind of took a flyer on him. The same way Kelowna took a flyer on him, and everywhere he's gone, he's improved the longer he's been there, which usually is but the way it should be. But, um, you know, he's gotten better. He's put the, the man hours in, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool, you know, going down the line, having a, a California kid as the, the face of the grind line 2.0. But, you know, I think with his approach to the game and, uh, you know, the headiness he has, I think he'll be a um, very, very effective National Hockey League player for a long time. And, again, not a lot of people were saying that a while ago. But I was. So. This is anything. This is my, my opportunity to gloat that I was high on Mitch Callahan before anyone else was. And uh, again, I can see him having a big time. I mean, not. He's not going to be Gordy Howe. He's not going to be Cam Neely. But he's going to be a roster player in the NHL, I believe, because he has the um, the tools to get it done. And you know, not everyone in the NHL is going to be a big time scorer. I mean, he's going to be a productive bottom six guy that you know chips it into the corner, goes in and grinds it out, cycles the puck. And, uh, you know, Detroit's had success with those guys in the past, and if they want to have success again, a uh, kid like Callahan filling that role will not definitely um, do them well. Anyway, serve them well. That's on some sort of the power play with CJ on uh, Mitch Callahan's role with the Detroit Red Wings and his Terry O'Reilly like ascent in the organization. Stay tuned for episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.